Hey everyone, Scott here to discuss Rise of the Planet of the Apes, starring James Franco, Frito Pinto, John Lithgow, Brian Cox, Tom Felton, and Andy Serkis, and directed by Rupert Wyatt. Now, first of all, I was a little nervous about if this movie was going to be good because it was released on an August date and month, you get my point, and it was... Well, let's talk about that in the show, shall we? We start off with Caesar's mother before giving birth to Caesar getting captured in the jungle by a bunch of ape uh, capturers, which I feel bad for her because, especially when we get to see her in the lab being named Bright Eyes, which kind of a funny reference to uh, the original, but honestly, she looks really miserable there. I'm just going to put it out there. Will Rodman, played by James Franco, is a pretty bad protagonist, but is a good father figure to Caesar, well, when we see that later on in the film. But Mr. Franco is not the greatest actor ever. This and the original Spider-Man, which I reviewed him recently, is the best of his resume. But he's not the best actor working this today. I'm just going to be honest there. These scientists working with James Franco's character, Will Rodman, are the worst ever at their job because they don't know that that Bright Eyes gave birth to Caesar in the lab, and they didn't know that she was being aggressive just to protect her baby. That's horrible. That's like the worst scientist ever. John Lithgow plays Will's father, named Charles, who suffers from Alzheimer's, and is a good role model of Caesar, too. Caesar as a baby monkey, or should I say ape, excuse me, is, and as a kid, and I'm just calling him an ape, makes this a very good Curious George movie because look at how cute he is as a baby. I want one until they end up being an adult. Oh, I'll, I won't say anymore. And I love Andy Serkis as Caesar, and his motion capture is absolutely brilliant in this movie. Now, am I the only one that thinks Caesar's neighbor, or Will's neighbor, let me say, is the biggest asshole ever? Because first he attacks Caesar with the bat, and didn't he really overreact in that scene? Yeah, I think he overreacted, because he's a baby chimp. And don't get frightened by a little baby chimp. The part where I feel like that he doesn't overreact, and I, that I can understand, is when John Lithgow, even though he's suffering Alzheimer's, is, um accidentally driving his car and Caesar beats him up and that was kind of a sad moment because that'll be all gone away his old childhood and adult Caesar is noticing things like is, is he a pet and wanting to know where he came from it's a very powerful um, moment by circus I should probably put it out there Dr. Veterinarian Caroline played by Slumdog Millionaire's Frida Pinto is a good girlfriend character of Will. The, the scene where she's like, how could you lie to her and Caesar at this point? Because that's when Caesar finds out that he was adopted by Will. And Caesar came from this... And at this point, and it's been eight years, you know? It's like... How could you hide this for eight years? I don't know. That's It's it's a B-movie, so I'm just going to put it there. Brian Cox plays the character who owns the chimp handling place, and I don't mind his character, but the character I do mind is Tom Felton as Dodge, his son, and who is played by Harry Potter's Tom Felton, like I said earlier, who's antagonizing Caesar I hate him. I mean, in Harry Potter, I hate him in Harry Potter, and I hate him in here. I will hate you forever, Mr. Felton. Well, maybe not true in some movies, but... Especially when he hoses Caesar after he throws a throws some food at Dodge, which, that was kind of funny. I'm, I'm gonna laugh. <laughs> we get introduced to Koba, who will be featured more in the, first, in the next film, At the Lab, and... That is one ugly looking ape because of what happened to him. I, I felt pretty 
terrible for his face. And like I said, he I'll talk about him more when we get the dawn of the Planet of the Apes, which is next time. We also get introduced to Rocket, who beats up and antagonizes Caesar until about his clothes, which was a brutal fight between Caesar and Rocket. But eventually, Caesar, um, because um, he is about to make a rise, and that's why this movie's called Rise of the Planet of the Apes, is going to get respect out of Rocket by the end of the day. Maurice is a good sidekick character of Caesar, especially when we get to him in the... especially when we get to the next two movies. Caesar chooses not to go with Will from that cage because he sees the leash and decides, I can't go home to this yet. That should have gotten him out of the damn cage and but would have but we wouldn't have a movie otherwise so I'm not gonna blame him there. Caesar escaping from the chimp handling place for one night <clears throat> to get the medicine that affected John Lithgow earlier in the film but to use it on apes is a good idea for an ape. It's clever. It's a clever thing for the movie. Caesar saying no like no is a risky but a great move for this movie and when I first saw this movie it came off as a shock to everyone in the audience that I saw the movie with and they clapped like that was badass just like Dodge turning on the electric stick and Caesar turning on the hose and killing off Dodge is just it's just freaking great by the way cuz you're dead Tom Felton or should I say Dodge or Malfoy Caesar becoming the warrior he is in the next two movies and getting apes out of the cages and definitely is definitely a Planet of the Apes move move for this movie and it's great. I love it, you know. The apes ruling the bridge so they can get to the Redwoods in San Francisco so they fight off the authorities as a good action sequence, especially that big gorilla going after the the cop with the horse which can I just say when you're on a horse and a big gorilla comes towards you you should run away like right off the bat from it Caesar tells Will Caesar is home is and Will lets him go like alright have a good one it's a little dumb but hey it's a B movie but I like that and he lets him go into his own adventure by the end of the film and the scene during the credits, and yes, there's a during the credits scene, of we where the jackass of a neighbor is going on a plane and blood comes out of his nose is a good way to set up the sequel, so yay. Now it's time for the rating. I'll give this movie a 8.7 out of 10. This is a really good film with some B-movie kind of things and they do a that they do in the movie and I already f brought those up and it's a good way to start off a new Planet of the Apes trilogy so I'm looking forward to seeing what they do in the next two films so I'll be back next time for Dawn of the Planet of the Apes and until next time I'd like to kiss you goodbye but you're just so damn ugly to quote Charlton Heston from the first film <laughs>